Hey Fabric users! In this video, we'll walk through the Hello Fabric Notebook, which demonstrates how to provision and use Fabric resources through Fabric's Python API. In the Fabric API examples, this notebook is towards the top under the Getting Started Tutorials section. Before running this experiment, you will need to run a separate configure environment notebook. This only needs to be ran once each time you are using Fabric on a different location. You can find this notebook by clicking the link here under step 1, or back in the Fabric API examples. To start with this tutorial, we must first import the FabLib library. FabLib is a Python wrapper for the general Fabric API, which packages core functionality of that API into a more user-friendly format, and is used in all these tutorials. This next step uses that FabLib import to show the available resources on each Fabric site, which you might use in order to see what sites have the available resources you need. In step 4, we will create our experiment slice. A slice is an abstraction for the specific cloud resources you provision from Fabric. As shown in the cell below this diagram, we are going to create our slice and add to it one node with no special capabilities. This diagram represents what will be going on inside of the node once provisioned. Lastly, in order to provision the slices resources, we'll run the slices submit method, which uses the lower level Fabric API to access Fabric's resources and allocate them to your user. This step can take several minutes, so for now we're going to speed up the video until the submit request is completed. Now that our node is stable and running, our slice is totally operational. Let's print the slice to see what information we can find out from it. Key information about the slice will be listed on print. Since your slice is the container of your specific resources and not those resources themselves, this won't print any details about those resources. To see more information about the resources, in this case the node we requested, we can print the node similarly to how we printed the slice. To access the node, we'll use the slices get nodes method. Now that we know how to access our nodes, let's take a look at how to run a simple bash command. Using the nodes execute method, we can pass in any bash command to be ran directly on the node's command line. For a more thorough description of this and other methods, Check out the Technical User Guide's FabLib API in the knowledge base. The standard output and error will be recorded by the function and then returned as strings. We can print them out after running our command to see the output locally. Now that you've finished this experiment, if you don't need the node for anything else, please delete your slice to free the resources you used for others. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. 